Imagine growing up in a world where hospitals are a myth and school is an alien concept. This was Tara's reality. Nestled in the mountains of Idaho, Tara Westover's childhood was anything but conventional. She was raised in a survivalist household, under the ironclad rule of her father whose paranoid beliefs about the government, education, and healthcare cast a long shadow over her formative years. Her father's distrust of the government was so profound that it permeated every aspect of their daily lives. He was convinced that the end of days was imminent and that they needed to be self-sufficient to survive. This led to a life of isolation, far removed from the norms of society. Tara's days were marked by laborious work in the family's junkyard, a hazardous environment that often flirted with danger. Yet, in her father's eyes, these were essential survival skills to be mastered. The realm of formal education was viewed with suspicion and often dismissed as a government ploy to brainwash the young. Tara and her siblings were homeschooled, but the focus was largely on practical survival skills rather than academic learning. Textbooks were replaced with scrap metal, and classrooms were swapped for the unforgiving landscape of the junkyard. Healthcare, too, was a foreign concept in the Westover household. Tara's mother, a self-taught herbalist and midwife, relied on home remedies to treat everything from minor cuts to life-threatening injuries. Hospitals and doctors were seen as agents of a corrupt system to be avoided at all costs. These elements combined to create an upbringing that was as unique as it was challenging. The lack of formal education, the dangerous work conditions, and the absence of mainstream healthcare formed the backdrop of Tara's early years. Yet this unorthodox upbringing was not a dead end. Instead, it laid the foundation for Tara's extraordinary journey towards self-education and personal liberation. So, buckle up as we delve deeper into this remarkable story of resilience, transformation, and the power of education. As we'll soon find out, Tara's unconventional childhood was just the beginning of her extraordinary journey. This unorthodox upbringing laid the foundation for Tara's extraordinary journey towards self-education and personal liberation. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Tara sought out the world beyond her mountain home. In a family where formal education was viewed with suspicion, Tara's thirst for knowledge was nothing short of revolutionary. Her path to self-education was not paved with textbooks or qualified teachers, but with jagged rocks of determination and the wild winds of curiosity. She fed her mind with whatever she could lay her hands on, from old textbooks to scraps of newspapers, gradually piecing together a worldview that extended far beyond the mountains of Idaho. At 17, Tara stepped into a classroom for the very first time. The experience was alien and overwhelming, but it also opened her eyes to the vast expanse of knowledge that lay before her. She grappled with the basic foundations of learning, struggling to catch up with her peers who had been immersed in formal education their entire lives. Yet Tara's unyielding spirit propelled her forward, turning her lack of conventional schooling into a drive to learn. Tara's academic journey was a testament to the power of resilience. Against all odds, she excelled in her studies, eventually earning a doctorate from Cambridge University. Yet, her academic achievements were not without their share of emotional turmoil. Tara grappled with feelings of alienation and imposter syndrome, struggling to reconcile her unconventional upbringing with her new life in academia. This struggle was a significant part of Tara's journey, illustrating the emotional toll that such a dramatic shift in lifestyle can impose. Her story sheds light on the often overlooked psychological aspects of education, reminding us that the pursuit of knowledge is not solely an intellectual endeavor, but also an emotional one. Despite the challenges, Tara's journey was marked by an unyielding determination to learn, to grow, and to understand the world around her. The pursuit of knowledge became her beacon, guiding her through the tumultuous sea of self-discovery and personal growth. Tara's pursuit of knowledge was not just about academics, it was a quest for self-discovery. Through education, she was able to transcend the limitations of her upbringing and carve out a path that was uniquely hers. Her journey serves as a powerful reminder that knowledge is not just about facts and figures, but about understanding oneself and the world around us. Every step towards education was a step away from the life she knew, a tug of war between loyalty and liberation. This sentiment echoes through the chapters of Tara Westover's memoir, Educated, as we witness her struggle for autonomy. Tara's journey is not just about the pursuit of education, it's also about the pursuit of her own identity. With each page turned, 
we see her wrestling with the emotional and psychological toll of breaking away from the life she has always known, the life she was born into. This is a life steeped in a strict adherence to survivalist principles, where the outside world is viewed with suspicion and autonomy is a distant concept. The tension between her pursuit of education and her loyalty to her family creates an emotional landscape that is as rugged as the Idaho mountains she calls home. This struggle is at times heartbreaking, as we see the ties that bind her to her family fray and strain. Yet, it is also inspiring as Tara's resilience shines through. Tara's quest for knowledge becomes a rebellion of sorts, a defiance against the constraints of her upbringing. It's a rebellion not born out of resentment, but out of a deep-seated desire to explore the world beyond the confines of her home, to understand herself and her place within that wider world. The struggle to assert her individual identity is fraught with challenges. The pressure to conform, to adhere to the traditions and beliefs of her family, weighs heavily on Tara. Yet she continues to push forward, driven by a determination to carve out her own path. She grapples with feelings of guilt, the fear of alienation, and the pain of leaving behind a part of herself. But in her struggle, she discovers her own strength, her own voice. She learns to reconcile her past with her present, to find a balance between the loyalty she feels for her family and the need for self-realization. The struggle for autonomy is a poignant theme in Tara's narrative, a testament to her resilience in the face of adversity. It's a reminder of the power of the human spirit, of the courage it takes to forge your own path, to choose your own destiny, Education in Tara's journey is not just about formal learning, it's about the freedom to think, to question, and to grow. It's about the courage to step out of the familiar and venture into the unknown. It's about the resilience to persevere in the face of adversity. And most importantly, it's about the audacity to challenge the status quo and chart one's own course in life. Education for Tara was a lifeline, a beacon of hope in a world dominated by rigid ideologies and staunch resistance to change. It was her ticket to a life beyond the confines of Buck's Peak, a life where she could break free from the shackles of her past and embrace her true potential. But more than anything else, education was Tara's gateway to self-discovery. As Tara immersed herself in the world of knowledge, she began to see herself and her life in a new light. She began to question the beliefs she had grown up with, beliefs that had, until then, defined her worldview. It was a painful process, one that required her to confront her deepest fears and insecurities. But it was also a liberating process, one that allowed her to shed the weight of her past and step into the person she was meant to be. But Tara's journey was not just about personal liberation, it was also about transcending her circumstances. Despite the odds stacked against her, Tara used education as a stepping stone to rise above her situation. She used it as a tool to carve out a new reality for herself, a reality where she was not just a survivor, but a thriver. Education gave Tara the strength to challenge the norms, the courage to voice her opinions, and the confidence to stand her ground. It gave her the tools to navigate the complexities of life and the wisdom to make informed decisions. It gave her the freedom to be herself and the courage to follow her dreams. Tara's story is a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of education and its role in shaping one's destiny. It's a testament to the power of the human spirit and the resilience of the human heart. And it's a call to action for all of us to embrace education as a force for change, a force for good, and a force for growth. Educated is not just a memoir. It's a mirror reflecting the broader societal implications of access to education and mental health. This book has sparked important conversations that reverberate far beyond the boundaries of Tara Westover's personal story. The tale of Tara's journey from a secluded Idaho mountain to the prestigious halls of Cambridge University has made readers around the globe pause and reflect on the true value of education. It's not just about acquiring knowledge or earning degrees, it's about the profound transformation that education can bring about in an individual's life. It's about the power of education to liberate, to empower, to open up a world of possibilities that one might never have dreamed of. Educated has served as a wake-up call, reminding us that access to education is not a luxury, but a fundamental human right that should be available to all, regardless of their circumstances. But educated is not just about education, it's also about mental health. Tara struggles with her mental well-being as she grapples with her traumatic past and the challenges of forging her own identity, have brought to the fore the often overlooked connection between education and mental health. 
The book has prompted discussions about how education can be a tool for promoting mental health, helping individuals understand and manage their emotions, build resilience, and navigate the complexities of life. The memoir has also sparked conversations about the concept of personal agency, the ability to take charge of one's life, make choices, and shape one's destiny. Tara's remarkable journey is a testament to the power of personal agency, demonstrating that even in the face of the most daunting obstacles, it is possible to chart one's own course and create a life of one's own choosing. As we close this chapter, we are left with the indomitable spirit of Tara Westover, a testament to the transformative power of education and a celebration of the human capacity for growth. Through her story, Tara has not only educated us about the world she came from, but also enlightened us about the world we can create, a world where education and mental health are prioritized and where each individual has the agency to shape their destiny.